Julia, what is the number one question I get asked all the time? It has something to do with abs, but a specific part of the abs. I get asked, how can I flatten my lower belly fat? All the time, and I know it's a big problem area for a lot of women especially, so I'm gonna tell you how. If you're watching this video and you're holding a can of Coke or a bag of chips or some french fries, you need to put that down right now and shove it away because right now we are working out, okay? You can go ahead and grab yourself a bottle of water, that's totally fine, but remember, your physique is determined 80% by how you eat, and the other 20 is genetics and how you work out. So right now, I'm gonna show you how to work out. How to eat is all the way on my blog, blogilates.com, free meal plan and everything on how to eat clean and really get that body of your life, of your dreams and everything. But I need to take that bad food away right now and nourish yourself with good things, okay? So today, I'm gonna show you my five best moves for flattening that lower belly, but just remember, that's gonna be half of it. The other half is gonna be how you eat, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I want you to bring those hands in front of you, tuck the chin into the chest, and slowly roll down with control, really forcing those abs to work every single step of the way, and now you're down. Okay, great. So anytime you do any type of ab tightening move, you really wanna go as slow as you can because that makes it actually a lot harder. Okay, today we are focusing on the lower abs. So first I want you to place your hands in a triangle, place them underneath your tailbone, supporting it right here, and extend those legs all the way up. Okay, we are starting out with a double leg lift. Now this is a classic move. It gets the lower abs every time, but I'm gonna challenge you with how many reps, ready? Here we go, number one, down for two and lift for two. Now if you can keep those legs straight, very good, okay? If you can't, slight bend in the knees, okay, all right? Here we go, and down for two and lift, amazing. Squeeze those abs right here, exhale when you lift, and down, exhale, lift. Press the heels together, point the toes, keep those legs straight, make them sexy, good, and down for two and lift, beautiful. Now try not to scrunch your neck, try not to look like ah on top, okay? It's all about those lower abs. You wanna flatten them? You're gonna make them work. Make that muscle work right here and lift. And if you feel pain, good. Well, I mean, not the bad kind of pain. If you feel a pain that's kind of like knife, then, then that's really bad, you should stop. You should actually bend those knees a little bit if those hip flexors are hurting. But I'm talking about the kind of pain that is motivating the kind of pain that knows change is coming, okay? You gotta keep going, let's go. Bring it down for two and lift for two. Do you feel those lower abs flattening out? Cause I do. Here we go, bring it down for two and lift. You've got two more and down. And one more, let's do this. Lower and lift. Bring those knees into the chest, give them a big hug. Super duper. Okay, now the next one, I want you to cross the ankles, okay? We're actually going to lift our butt a little bit, hands by the side, relax the shoulders. Check it out. Going to lift, bring it back down to starting, knees right over the hips, okay? Abs tight, three, two, one. You're going lift, slow down. Yes, lift, slow down. Now beginners, this is too hard, just, just a mini lift is okay, mini. Whatever, it takes time. This is a journey, okay? Very good. Now up, squeeze, hold, and lift. Hold it right there, don't rest. Lift, and right there, point the toes. Up, and lower, very good. Now don't strain your neck. Put all the work in those lower abs, beautiful. Reach, nice. You feel it, you feel it? I told you I was gonna show you the best lower ab moves and here they are. Good, relax the neck, relax the neck. I know you're straining, but put all that work into the lower abs. Four more, let's go. Four, and hold, and three, push even higher. Two more, and lift, one more, and up, and down, okay, very good. Now I want you to go ahead and place the hands in that triangle again, right underneath that tailbone. Okay, move your head from side to side, I know you're straining, okay? Very good, we're moving on. Belly button, nice and tight. Lengthen those legs, okay? Remember, press that low back into the mat, don't hollow it up, press those legs down as far as you can go. Can you hold? Can you hold? Good, because now we're gonna take it on to another level. 
go ahead and tap those heels. Ready, here we go, and tap, tap, tap. Good. Now the reason why your hands are underneath that tailbone is to support that back, but you're pressing into the mat. I don't want to see this, okay? That's going to hurt you. Press, press. All the work is right here in the abs. Whoo! Boom, boom. Good. Press, press. Strain those legs. Amazing. Can you go lower? Yes. Parallel to the floor if you can. Whoo! Eight more right here. Let's go. Eight. Seven, six, five, good, four, three, two, one, knees in, whoa, I just felt like my lower abs, there's like a sheet on top of it, that feels really good. Okay, now the next move, move number four, this is your cheerleader L. This is amazing for flattening those abs because it allows you to use your legs, core at the same time. When you go ahead and bring your right knee into your chest, big hug, inhale. On the exhale, lift yourself up into Pilates stance. So your eyes are looking forward, don't look up. I hear a lot of complaints um, from new Pilates beginners that go like this and their neck ends up being really heavy, their head is heavy. So really lift your abs up, it's about the abs. Look forward, extend the leg. Okay, inhale, exhale, pull that leg. Good, hold it. This is where the fun begins. In three, two, one, let go, hold it. That's it, I just want you to hold. All right here, this is your lower abs. Stay strong now. Lift your shoulders higher. Lift, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Good, hold it. You've got eight, seven, six, five, good, four, three, come on, two. You're switching right now, zero break. Yeah, you are strong. Beginners, if you feel like this is too much, place this leg down. You can even place the head and neck down, otherwise you're up. Hold it. Straighten that leg, lengthen it. Eight counts right here. Eight, seven, come on, point six, five, good, four, three, come on, two, one, bring it in and down. Okay, you ready for the finale? This is the best lower abs strengthening and tightening move, okay? We're gonna combine that cheerleader L with a little bit of a crisscross, it's called the rocket. It's a difficult, it's difficult, but don't you give up. You've gone this far. Knees into the chest. Right knee in. Extend that leg, okay? Give it a nice pull, because I want those legs to be as straight as you can, okay? Hands behind the nape of the neck. You're gonna twist opposite shoulder towards opposite knee. Turn and twist, opposite shoulder towards opposite knee. Here we go, and twist, hold, twist, hold, you feel it. This is the rocket, let's go, and boom, and reach, shoulders high, whoo, lower abs on fire, give me eight, and seven, good, come on, six, you're right there, five, Almost so close, don't stop now. I know it burns, three, and two, one more, one more, and one. Bring those knees in and down. Oh, those abs on fire. Hands long behind you, legs in front of you, inhale. And exhale, peel that back off the mat. Woo, those abs, bring it all the way up and down. Ah! How do your lower abs feel? I honestly feel like hit it right down there. Um, don't do that to yourself, but you can actually do these moves and they will flatten your lower abs. Make sure to pair it with some of my HIIT workouts, high intensity interval training, some of my pop cardio dance to really melt off that fat because now you've got those muscles. Um, you need to do the cardio to melt off the fat and then you need to eat clean to make it even faster, okay? Remember, your physique is determined 80% by the way you eat. The other 20 is genetics and your workout, okay? So you can find the free meal plans and everything for clean eating on my blog, blogalotties.com. Follow the March calendar and you'll be perfect and in shape for that spring break bikini or for summer, okay? So I'm so glad you're working out with me and I love you so much. I'll see you next time, bye. So good, so effective, and I promise you, you will be sore for days. Out, exhale up. Now make sure you tuck that chin in so you don't hurt. Three, two, oh, breathing down. Two, exhale up for two, very good. Down, and reach, point the toes. Lower, now beginners, 
can bend those knees, okay?